All right, folks, Ford has finally came out with an adventure-ready van. It's made for van life, made to get you off the pavement. It's the 2023 Transit Trail, and if you've been thinking about a van life build, then this video may be helpful to you. The Transit Trail will be offered in three different body styles, a medium, a high roof long length, and a high roof extended length. It will come standard with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost with 310 horsepower and 400 pounds of torque. It will also come standard with a 10 speed transmission. Other features that are specific to the Transit Trail are 16 inch black alloy wheels, 30.5 inch Goodyear Wrangler Workhorse all-terrain tires, an intelligent all wheel drive system with five selectable modes, normal, eco, mud and ruts, tow and haul, and slippery. It will have a skid plate style front bumper, black Transit Trail grill with integrated marker lamps, black HID headlamps, trail splash guards, and wheel arch cladding. It'll have a 2.75 inch increased track width over the base transit, and will have a total of 3.5 inch increased ride height over the base transit. It'll have a heavy duty trailer package, privacy glass, slider style driver and passenger side steps, and an optional roof fit fan. Whew, it is chilly out there. All right guys, so my goal with this video is not to sell you on van life or a transit trail. What Ford asked of me was to share some van life lessons. Some things that I learned through the process of building my van that maybe the transit trail could have resolved for me and made the whole experience a little bit easier. Uh, I've been living the van life for about two and a half years now and before that I lived in a small teardrop trailer and then before that a rooftop tent for a short period. Now my van, I've built you know from scratch. I started with a baseline, a Econoline, and then built it up from there. But what I wanna talk about is how the transit trail would have just made that process easier and some of the things I wouldn't have had to do had I started with a transit trail. So the first lesson that would have been useful buying a transit trail over a used vehicle was not having to deal with all the repairs that I had to handle while getting Sasquatch originally built. When I first got it, it had several little small engine problems which were exasperated by poor mechanics doing poor job. If I would have had a brand new vehicle, I would not have to deal with that so much and that would have been the first probably lesson learned. Now, I understand that for some people that are looking to build an aged vehicle, that the repairs are part of the process and you actually enjoy that part. But for people that are looking to just get out and start exploring right away, the repairs can be cumbersome and also keep you from getting out and doing the types of adventures that you really would like to be doing. So if you're not into doing repairs, a new vehicle does make sense. So the second thing is not having to do the four-wheel drive conversion. The four-wheel drive conversion is a fairly expensive upgrade to do to a two-wheel drive van, especially if you want it done right. If it's not done right, you can have lots of drivability issues with the vehicle, making it not very enjoyable to drive on the highway. The all-wheel drive system in the transit trail, as long as you don't mess with anything, don't try to add any more lift or bigger tires or do anything like that and just leave it stock, should work very well for most occasions where you're going to want all-wheel drive. If you're looking to get over snowy mountain passes, get in and out of ski parks, deal with the occasional muddy road on a forest road, then I think the all-wheel drive system is going to work very well. And with the 10-speed transmission, you're going to have a lot of gearing to work with, making a low-range transfer case probably not as important. Plus, you won't have to get out and lock hubs or do anything like that in order to get the vehicle in all-wheel drive. So all those are going to be benefits for, I think, the average person looking at a van like this. Now, of course, if you are going to want to do some more aggressive off-roading like what I do with my van, then I think a four-wheel drive system with a true low-range transfer case may be a benefit. But like I said, there are upsides and downsides to both. The third thing is some of the standard and optional features that will come on the transit trail. 
First of all, you get some tech that you probably won't have in an older vehicle, like blind spot assist 1.0, reverse and side sensing system, sync 4, and keyless entry pad. The Transit Trail also has side steps, which are very convenient. I do recommend side steps on any van you plan on living and working out of. You're going to be getting in and out of that van a lot of times, and you're going to often be carrying things like laundry, groceries, and you're going to really appreciate having a set of side steps. The Transit Trail does come stock with a 400 watt inverter, though I think if you're living and working out of it, you're going to find that a little bit small, but it does have the option of getting a dual alternator so you can build out your power system to your specific needs. Another nice option that you can have added to the van is a fan. So instead of you having to go up and cut a hole in your brand new van, Ford will do it for you and it will be covered under the warranty. All right, folks, give me your thoughts. So a new van with a higher entry cost that will have the benefits of a warranty that you can fall back on if you have any issues or a lower entry cost of a used vehicle and knowing that you may have obstacles and hurdles that you have to jump through in the way of mechanical issues as you go through the process. As far as I'm concerned, I think that Ford has made a great product and I do think it will serve a lot of people very well. But I think my subscribers know where I sit. I bought this van as a used two wheel drive van and the road to building this van out and getting it to be what I want it to be has been challenging at the least. There's been massive frustrations, times where I just absolutely wanted to throw up my hands, but that's part of my van life story. That is part of, that to me is what van life is truly about, is the challenges that you face along the way. This van is more than just an inanimate object to me. It has life, it has a soul, it's a true living beast now in my mind. And our relationship has become symbiotic to the point where I need it and it needs me. All right, folks, well, my van life journey continues. I hope you found this video useful and it gave you some food for thought if you're thinking about building a van for van life. If it did, please do give it a like. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below and we'll catch you guys again outside. If you would like to learn more about the 2023 Ford Transit Trail, check out Ford's website, link below in the description.